so I'm just stuck in crawling LA traffic right now. Quite lovely. Uh, but I just got a call from Zach and he was like, hey bro, you wanna go to Panama next week? And I was like, Our host Dave was ready to get in the water immediately, and after almost 13 hours of travel, so were we. The surf wasn't so great, so we popped on our goggles and dove into the cool 85 degree water. The next morning, we decided to do a bit of exploring on dry land. Zach, explaining a bit about why we're here. I'm here with Jetson and Panacea here in Panama. Uh, they have amazing, amazing reefs out here and what they're doing with sea cucumbers between biomedicine, saving the reefs with sea cucumbers and just the overall, uh, what is that bro? Oh my God, it's a massive bug. Right here we have one of our first Jetsons. This is one of the prototypes, but this thing is pretty sick. It's the Wahoo, you got your touch pad. For the boost, you got your boost fin. Oh. So Jetson's priority with Panacy is really just to provide them with a nice board, probably 11 footer, a nice basket on it, so they can go out there and harvest the juvenile sea cucumbers. We'll take you on a tour of the facility right now. We found a sweet looking laboratory and discovered it was also the best place to escape the 100% humidity we were feeling. The facility you're seeing here is the hatchery. This is where they nurse the baby sea cucumbers until they're old enough to go into the open ocean. And inside those containers with the green and brown liquid is the different types of algae the sea cucumbers eat. We'd heard the food in Panama was good, but we figured it was safer not to eat this stuff. And that was pretty much all the time we could handle being out of the water, so it was time to get back in the boat.
After we got back to shore, we discovered that the magic hour in Panama was absolutely beautiful. It's creamy as fuck. The next morning, we went back out to check out the Hoppinets. That's where they put the juvenile sea cucumbers after they leave the hatchery. And that was the last we ever saw of Zack. Just kidding. Our guide, Lucas, showed us a few of the tiny little guys. And a few of the chubby ones. But this was definitely the best find on our venture. I made Zack put it back so I could get a better shot. And here's the shot. I'd only seen the outside, so I decided to take a tour of the little guy's apartment. These contain all the little sea cucumbers. So we'll do a little super -super. We got invited for dinner later that day at Ciel y Miel, a nearby resort with a beautiful view.
After dinner and a bumpy ride back, it was time for our night dive. It was this night that Zack met Sally the Sea Cucumber, and the two now live happily ever after on the ocean floor, eating algae and excreting nutrients for the corals. <laughs>